okay welcome back hello friends so how are you so we are again here to discuss the last case in the topic rejection of points so this is a last case and the case we have already discussed in the previous video the case is regarding the shortest distance okay so we have a shortest distance case second okay so if you remember in the previous video so this is my previous video regarding the shortest distance case of the points so in which point a is given point a is given and how much it is away from hp is given and it is given that it is in first quadrant and the shortest distance is given that the measurement of shortest distance is 50 mm okay and you are you are going to find out how much it is in front of vp so this was the question this okay and you have to draw its plan and elevation means top view and front view okay but in this case this is just uh, like reciprocal of the previous video in this we have a measurements of point this is my point a and it is given that how much it is above hp and how much it is in front of vp okay so you can see here that above hp my point a is 30 mm and in front of vp it is 45 mm okay so in this case you are going to find out its shortest distance okay so in the previous case the shortest distance is given and in this case you are going to find out the shortest distance okay so very simple so you have to make it plan and elevation so you can see here this is imagination this is point a and and this is the front view of point a and this is the top view of point a okay and this line the the line the line in cyan color represents your shortest distance and you know that this shortest distance cannot be seen completely from the front view either from the top view so to make this shortest distance i have to make the side view of this line and uh, projection of the side view always goes on the profile plane you know that this profile plane and it rotates always in this direction if you are making a left side view you can see here okay so what i did now in the just a new thing over here i'll make uh, lines over here that how it projects when the profile plane opens to this side how it works like that so you can see that this is a front view this is a front view of my point this one in yellow color and this is a top view and these things are given and i make easily by this one okay so afterwards you have to go in this way like this one up to you this profile line this is profile plane line and you come over here and you have to give like this you have to come like this and go upwards and extend your point towards this one and wherever these things meet these th becomes your shortest distance so it is very easy your friends very easy very easy to make these thing okay so let's see how to make this thing so it is very easy i think so let's see okay i'll make the projection of point a first then uh, i'll uh, then i'll find out sh uh, shortest distance from the reference line okay let's start so take a line okay you can start from anywhere first project your point so above hp it is 30 mm okay so this is 30 mm okay then again take a line so downwards it is 45 as per the question so you can see here okay so make a point over here this one this one okay so you can see that this is a projection of point a in front view this is from top view so these things and these things i'll made over here okay so okay give the dimension first so this one and this one's so gonna 30 again take a dimension this one this one and this one so 45 okay in front of vb is 45 and above hp is 30 okay now take a line and this line should be orthogonal to your reference line and this line represents this line represents your profile line this line this line yeah, yeah this line this line 
is exactly what this line is. It doesn't matter what measurement it is, but it represents your profile plane line over here. Okay, so on the right side, or on the on the right side, or you can say on the left side of this line, you are going to make a left side view because when an observer comes towards its own left and watches this point towards this side, it becomes left side view. Okay, so let's make this one. Okay, so take a line and this one up to this one. Okay, so I'll make my point towards this side. Okay, then you know that uh, if you have a you are working on a dra uh, drawing sheet with the help of drafter, then you put your steel part of the compass over this intersection and pencil part over here and make an arc like this. Okay, make an arc like this. But instead, we are using AutoCAD, so we have to use the circle. This should be your center point of the circle. Okay, and put over here. Okay, this one. Okay, so I'll what I did basically, I'll take this overcome over here. Okay, then I'll trim the rest things. I don't want these things. I don't want this one, this one, and this one. Okay. So now, just put your, extend your line like this. Okay, so just extend over here, like this. And then extend your this point toward this side. Oh, I'll just stop where it intersects. Okay, so this point represents your shortest distance point. This one, right, so I'll make this right. Just for your understanding, I'll make this red. Okay, so you can see that this is red point, this is red point, this is red point, red point. You can see here. These are your front view of point A. This is a top view. This is a this is a shorter distance point. And what I am going to do now is just meet this one. So you friends, this is your shortest distance to make it something dark so this line represents your shortest distance what i did over here so you can take measurement align measurement this one this one this one so the shortest distance is 54.1 millimeter so that's uh, completion on the coast and i'm only left with the nomenclature so okay let's make a nomenclature so a dash okay so it's so small make it right click go to the properties go to the text height and make it seven or six what you want okay just and copy okay let will move move it this one come over here okay then make it copy this, this one Just to take this one okay, this is basically this is a point okay then put there okay then again move okay. take a move command over here and this one and put over here so make it selected to remove the dash because it is a top view okay and again select this one and make one more dash because it is a side view okay and side view we have only denoted with two dashes okay so this is the now completion of my question i hope you understand it is very easy question okay so sometimes this type of question will come over here in the examination so I'll, i hope you understand the imagination of with the, this with the help of this reference planes horizontal plane vertical plane so this is my last question in the topic projection of points i hope you understand this topic if you remember i'll make something remember so this is the first case and this this is a basics two points so these are different type of points i've been given in the first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant fourth quadrant so it is very basic very basic to the projection of points if you don't go to these videos just just i uh, suggest you to go to these videos 
okay so this is the second case in which point two quad point is in two quadrants and you're going to find out the front view and true front view and top view lens so this is the question some little bit complicated just the point you have to point out the find out that point is in which quadrant that's very very classical question okay, okay. so this is the shortest distance question i already discussed okay so this is a previous case in the shortest distance and today we will discuss this one i hope you understand this topic very much thank you very much